and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create an easy cinnamon stick Christmas ornament. You can check out the DIY kit that has all of the supplies included and the digital pattern now available in my online shop. And to begin, I'm going to measure out four different cords to be 30 inches long each. And now I'm going to mount all four of these cords to my cinnamon stick using a lark's head knot. To do that, just fold your cord in half and then take this loop at the top where you folded it in half and place it over your cinnamon stick so that the loop is on the back side of the cinnamon stick. Then take those two ends of the string and pull them through the loop. Then pull down on the two ends and this will create a lark's head knot. And I'll do it one more time in real time. So take your macrame cord and fold it in half. Find the two ends, make sure that they're lined up evenly, and then take your string and that loop at the top and place it over the cinnamon stick. Then take the two ends of your cord and pull them through that loop. making the lark's head knot. So now just do that with the other two strings. Then just take your cinnamon stick and place it underneath the clamp on the clipboard. So this ornament is created using a series of alternating square knots. The square knot uses four cords in total and has working cords, which are the outer cords, and standing cords, which are the inner cords. To work our first square knot, we're gonna use the four middle cords so take the two outer cords on each side and place them to the side, and then take the four cords in the middle. So these two cords on the outside are our working cords, and the two cords in the middle are our standing cords. To begin, we're gonna take this left working cord and place it over the two middle standing cords, and take this right outer cord and place it over the left outer cord. And this makes the shape of the number four. So, and we're gonna continue with that right working cord, bring it behind the two middle standing cords and through the space between the left working cord and the left standing cord from back to front. Bringing that end all the way through and then take the two ends of the working cords and pull up to bring that knot all the way up to the top. And you can also hold onto the two middle standing cords and push that knot all the way up. And this is the first part of our square knot. Now take that right working cord and bring it over the two middle standing cords and then take that left working cord and place it over the right working cord. And this is making the shape of a letter P. So now continue with that left working cord, bring it behind the two middle standing cords and through the space between the right working and right standing cords from back to front. Pull up all the way to bring that knot up to meet the first half of the knot and completing our square knot. For the second row, we're gonna bring back in these two cords on both ends and we're gonna alternate working two square knots in the second row, we're gonna alternate with the first row. So push these four cords on the right to the side and we're gonna work first with these four cords on the left. So to create our square knot again, we're going to take our left working cord and bring it over the two middle standing cords and take our right working cord and bring it over the left working cord. Now continuing with that right working cord, bring it behind the two middle standing cords and through the space between the left working and standing cords from back to front. Pull that first part of the knot all the way up. Now we're gonna complete this knot by taking that right working cord and bringing it over the two middle standing cords and take that left working cord and place it over the right. Then continue with that left working cord, bringing it behind the two middle standing cords and pull it through the space between the left working and standing cords from back to front. Pull that knot all the way up. 
completing our square knot. Now we'll work a square knot with these four chords on the right. So we're gonna do the same thing, bring that left working chord over the two middle standing chords and bring the right working chord over the left. Take that right working chord, bring it behind the two middle standing chords and through the space between the left working and standing chords, bring that knot all the way up. Then take that right working chord, place it over the two middle standing chords and take that left working chord and bring it over the right. And then continue with that left working chord, bringing it behind the two middle standing and through the space between the left working and standing chords and pull up on the ends to meet the first part of the knot. And now we have our second row complete. All right, so now for row three, we're going to work another alternating square knot. So we're going to take the two chords on the left and the two chords on the right and bring them to the side. And we're going to work our square knot in the same way with these four middle chords. making our square knot, alternating with the second row. Now for row four, we're gonna bring back in the two chords on both sides, and we're going to work two square knots in this row, and one with our four chords on the left, and one with our four chords on the right. So for this fifth row, I'm gonna work a square knot alternating with the previous row. And to do this, I'm going to move the two chords on both sides out of the way and make a square knot with the four chords in the middle. Now for row six, I'm going to work two square knots alternating with the previous row. So I'm going to bring back in those two chords on both sides and work two square knots. one with the four chords on the left, and one with the four chords on the right. And to finish off this piece, I'm going to work one last square knot, alternating with the previous row. So I'm going to work a square knot with the four chords in the middle. And now my piece is complete. So now it's just time to give it a trim you can trim it however you like. I like to come down to the shortest piece of fringe here and cut it straight across. Then use a fine tooth comb and brush the fringe as you like. You also don't have to do this step if you don't want extra fringe, but I think it makes the piece nice and full at the end and gives it a little bit of extra texture, which is really nice. So now just add a hanging string to this and fold it in half and you can tie it any way you want. You can either tie it on both ends, but with these little cinnamon sticks, I like to bring a loop from back to front in the middle of the piece, like so. And then just even out those two ends. And then bring those two ends through that loop making a reverse lark's head knot. Then just tie a regular overhand knot at the end. And now we have a string to hang it up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please make sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments what other macrame tutorials you'd like to see. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me in the next one. <music>